Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Roland and I'm your tutor. So in this video, we will be doing special angles in a Cartesian plane. In the previous video, if you haven't watched it, make sure to go and watch that. And also go and probably watch from the beginning of the, this video series. Previously, we spoke about the cast diagram and explained basically what the north 90, 180, 270 and 360 degrees meant. We also explained what cast stands for and uh, how it works. So in this case, we will be doing special angles in a Cartesian plane. And these special angles are 0 and 90. So far, we've had three special angles besides these two. Those are 30, 45 and 60 degrees. 30 degrees, 45 and 60 come from the special angle triangles that we developed in the first or second video of this video series. So if you haven't watched them, make sure to go watch them because all of this knowledge depends on what you've previously watched. It's all growing from basic steps and developing from there. So in this case, we will be looking at the sine graph and the cos graph. Now the sine graph and cos graph at 0 and 90 degrees act totally polar oppositely. The sine graph at 0 degrees is actually equal to 0, whereas the cos graph of 0 is equal to 1. Why is this? Well, it's all, the ba it's all based on special angles and Pythagoras, where you have shade your rear, which is y of r, you have cos x rays, which is x of r. It's kind of opposite. Let's have a look at it from a visual perspective. Over here, we've got 90 degrees, 180, 270, 360, and then minus 90, what, minus 180, minus 270, and minus 360. So we've placed our first point at zero, because I know that sine of zero is zero, isn't it? Like we've just said. You then have sine of 90, sine of 180, sine of 270, and of course, sine of 360. And look at the shape of the graph. Our amplitude, as we call it, is one. As you can see, the highest shift it can get to is one. If you're unsure of whether these points are correct or not, pull out your calculator and just press sine 90 or sine 0 and see where the point lies. So at 0 degrees, you've got the value of sine 0 being 0. Now look at cos. At cos 0, we have the answer 1. Cos of 90 is 0. So it's almost like if you look at it simply, the cos graph has somewhat shifted. But let's not jump to conclusions. Let's have a look. Let's continue with our points. We said minus 90 is 0, minus 180 is minus 1, minus 270 is 0, and of course, minus 360 is 1. Now let's look at this. If we draw this together, what do you think we're going to see? Now tell me something. If we had to shift the sine graph one like 90 degrees to the left surely that would cover the cos graph isn't that something that's quite interesting to see so just think about that now if you look at the cast diagram in one of the previous videos i think in fact it's the previous video to this you'll notice that cos and sine are vertically opposite in terms of the quadrants. Sine is the second and cos is the fourth. Just keep that in mind in the future because when you shift an angle 90 degrees, it turns from cos into sine. Now that's a clue for what's coming later on. Maybe not now, but maybe in a couple of videos. So stay tuned and make sure to subscribe if you're interested. So look at that. We've got zero. sine 0 is equal to 0, sine 90 is equal to 1. Cos 0 is equal to 1, and cos 90 is equal to 0. I don't think that's a coincidence. And uh, it's quite honestly just a shift. It shifted 90 degrees. So sine shifts 90, it becomes cos. Cos shifts another 90, it becomes sine. That's how the system of uh, equations works. Quite simply if you understand it at heart, but quite confusing if you don't. So this is the simplest way to have a look at what the cos graph and the sine graph actually look like. 